So this is the Pine64 uh, Pine phone, which is a phone that uh, ships with Linux installed. Um, I have the UB ports version and uh, it it is a phone after all. So uh, I, I'm not used to uh, buying phones that ship with Linux. In fact, uh, I mean, when was the last time that happened? So I think I had like a Nexus 5 with Ubuntu Touch installed, but it didn't ship with the actual distribution on it. But yeah, this is uh, back. So um, this is now the new thing. So we have Linux on phones. Uh, let's actually unlock this. And uh, yeah, so you can see it's literally uh, Ubuntu Touch on the, let me focus on, on the phone. Uh, you have literally all the I mean, apps and the drawer and the uh, drawer as well as, um, I don't know, the, I mean, the UI like works and it's snappy, so I guess that's okay. Uh, let me turn on the settings here. System settings, here we go. Uh, right now it's on dark mode and it's also the, uh, I think it's running the development version, so let's actually check it. Come on, focus, here we go. Uh, updates. Okay, so yeah, it's, it is uh, running the version 54. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been uh, tinkering with it. And yeah, I'm on the development branch. All right, so uh, yeah, so how's the, how's the battery life that would be here? Uh, well, right now it's just charging, but uh, it actually did get a nice battery life uh, on the on this version because it has crust enabled uh, and yeah what I can what can I say it's it does get like I don't know 20 hours maybe 15 hours of uh, standby with uh, these two turned on oh yeah by the way if your Bluetooth doesn't turn on on this version um, you have to enable it then reboot the phone and then uh, it will work. So yeah, that uh, I mean, Wi-Fi works. I haven't, I don't have a, a SIM card in this um, because uh, the tray doesn't fit my SIM card, but uh, otherwise it should be uh, working. Um, so yeah, these are all the apps that I have. We do get a normal terminal emulator and it, it has, you know, bash. Oh yeah, after some upgrades, uh, for some reason, my uh, Python packages get deleted, so I don't have some stuff, but yeah, it's at least after all a <laughs> Ubuntu phone, so it does have Bash and APT and the other stuff. And what else can I demo? Let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess I can demo the store. So yeah, I was just looking at what games are on this. And uh, let's see what else do we have here. Oh yeah, they, they, uh, most applications are web apps, which uh, I kind of like because they don't uh, occupy that much space. But be aware that, of course, being web apps, if you don't have the uh, Wi-Fi enabled, you will not be able to... Uh, use them because they're a website. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, if you're familiar with Ubuntu Touch, I guess this is the the familiar experience. And uh, oh yeah, something I should mention, the camera doesn't work. If I open it, it, it displays this. So yeah, uh, that, I guess that will be fixed in a later update. Uh, Bluetooth does work, after, after, as I said, after a reboot, and uh, this application here called Rockwork uh, allows me to pair it to the, oops, to the Pebble. And uh, sound does work, so I'll actually just uh, demo it by playing a podcast. 
So yeah, I think the speakers are like uh, down here. All right, let's go to our podcast. Mm, yeah, here we go. And hmm, yeah, uh, UI wise, it, it doesn't stutter much. The FPS are a bit low, but uh, otherwise, it's manageable. I haven't tried out the microphone, as pro should. But yeah, I mean, uh, I also have uh, Fedora on this SD card. I might, I might as well just try it now. Okay, let's see, let's remove the cover. Oh yeah, big props about this phone. We can remove the cover easily and we have switches for, mm, let me focus. Yeah, for Wi-Fi and the uh, Bluetooth and cellular connection. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to remove the battery and... No, oh, yes, here. All right, this should work. Mm, yeah, I'm going to turn it on without the case because I want to remove the SD card afterwards. And uh, yeah, let's see how it boots up. Oh yeah, I, I, I didn't have Fedora, I had Port Market OS, but both run on Fosh, which is the UI made by Purism. I think it's based on GNOME, but it doesn't have Matter or like all the JavaScript int intensive stuff. So it can run on a low end device like this one. Well, here's, uh, here's Fosh on top of Postmarket OS. So yeah, we have um, the app drawer, and uh, I think I had I had a terminal for some reason, and now it has disappeared. Yeah, let's actually um, something has gone wrong. Okay. Oh yeah, here's here are the settings. So this one actually runs uh, pretty smooth. Although I kind of want to get the terminal back. Oh yeah, here it is. Opening software. What's this? Hmm. I guess there's no Apple Store, App Store, or something for handling that. And yeah, that's about it. So this is Postmarket OS. It has the basics and uh, yeah, over time it, this will get much more uh, full featured and we will be able to uh, take pictures and uh, pretty much do everything on a normal Android phone uh, does because uh, this is full Linux so it can run Anbox which runs APKs and uh, we will be able to have WhatsApp and Instagram and all the other apps in there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this review of the Pine 64 Pine phone and uh, yeah, bye.